Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. I don't know what day this is getting uploaded on, but today is Tuesday, November 15th. And I figured I would do a kind of like one day vlog. A little while back, there seemed to be this trend of people swapping screen time for reading. And I am not willing to commit an entire week of my life to this experiment but I figured I could give it one day. So I'm off today and I am going to swap my screen time for reading today. Um, I'm gonna use the data that I have from last Tuesday, so November 8th, and I did a little screen recording. I film on my phone so I can't just kind of like show you, but I screen recorded it. So I had four hours and eight minutes of screen time last Tuesday. Um, an hour and 35 minutes of it was on Facebook, so that must have been a rough day for me because usually when I'm, like, when I'm kind of mentally tired, I just sit there and I scroll Facebook. I don't know why. I know it's a bad habit, but some of these videos I've seen people on TikTok for, like, five hours in a day plus. So, I mean, I think an hour and a half on Facebook's not too bad. <laughs> but there's no judgment here. We're not judging people for their amount of screen time. I hope you're not going to judge me for my amount of screen time. But um, an hour and a half of it was on Facebook, some of it was on Pinterest, messages. Basically, all I'm here to say <laughs> is I have four hours, I am kind of committing myself to four hours and eight minutes of a reading today. Um, if I can load up here. I have a timer set on my old phone. So for four hours and eight minutes, I will start it when I'm reading, stop it when I'm not. And the other thing is I'm going to try to do this in the time that my husband is gone for work. So I don't know if I said, I think I said it's a little after seven o'clock right now, a.m. It's a little after 7 a.m. to uh, right now. And he gets home usually around like 4.15. So we have that much time. In that time, I'm going to be trying to read for four hours and eight minutes. But I also have to finish editing and upload a video that I meant to do last week. <laughs> um, and I also have a personal training session. So that's gonna eat up some of my time as well. Um, as for what I will be working on, I have uh, One Step Too Far by Lisa Gardner. I'm 108 pages into this now. I wanna do some more reading on this. Um, the other thing I have is I am about 14% through the ebook for the Monarchs by Cass Morgan and Danielle Page, so I might read some of that. My hold just came in from the library for that Jeanette McCurdy book. I'm glad my mom died. Is that what it's called? The memoir that everybody was raving about like a month ago. Um, I started on 133rd in line. I mean the weight is now like 300 something or 400 something, so I definitely want to get that listened to before it gets returned. So those are the three options that I'm going to be working with. Again, four hours and eight minutes on the clock, and I will check in when I've done some reading, I guess. So I made it to 355. I'm gonna pause it. So I have three hours, 55 seconds. I mean, three hours, 55 minutes and 30 seconds left. I spent most of the morning finishing up my edit on my video, making a thumbnail, uploading it. So I didn't have a lot of time left before training to read, but I did read a few pages um, and got under four hours, which is not much of a feat of greatness because I only had four hours and eight minutes. But I did want to get at least a little bit of a head start. Not a head start, I'm already kind of behind, but I wanted to get a little bit of reading done before I started my training session. So yeah, I'm down to three hours and 55 minutes. Um, and now I have to go and do my training session. And I'm a little concerned because after my training session, it's pretty much going to be almost lunchtime. Um, and then, you know, like I said, I'm trying to get this done before my husband comes home and he comes home around 4.15. So we're already behind, <laughs> but that's okay. That's fine. Um, I figure while I'm making my lunch, I will probably be listening to 
I'm glad my mom died on audio, so that still counts towards my time. Okay, so that's funny. Literally as I was filming that clip saying that I needed to start getting ready for training, uh, my trainer texted me and said that she's going to have to postpone until this afternoon, around 4. So basically I have until training to finish this experiment. So that's good. Now I can just read away the rest of the morning and into the afternoon and then worry about training after I'm done with this. So, all right, I guess instead of getting ready for training, I am going to keep reading. Okay, so I am at two hours and 28 minutes left. Um, I am gonna pause it for a little bit give myself a little bit of a break and then I am probably actually going to get up and do some stuff around the house, listen to my audiobook, um, in which case I'll put the timer back on, but for now it's going to stay off for a bit. I am on page 170 of One Step Too Far. I'm making some decent progress. Um, but yeah, it's weird. It's about this group of people searching the woods for um, this guy who disappeared, like, his bachelor party was a camping trip, and he disappeared, like, one of their friends went missing, and then he went to find them, they found the other friend, but then the, the guy that went searching disappeared, um, and now it's five years later, and there's a search party of eight people, um, three of his best friends that were at the bachelor party camping trip, his father, a guide, a Bigfoot hunter, um, like a search and rescue dog trainer, and our main character, Frankie, who is, what's the word I'm looking for? Researches? Like, she tries to solve cold cases. Um, and there's been a couple of elements of things, like, that don't make sense, like, in a thriller kind of way, like, is this, is this leading up to the twist kind of thing? Um, like one of the guys just keeps appearing where he's not supposed to be. Uh, and there's screaming in the woods and the, um, like the experienced, the experienced hikers keep saying, oh, it's just an animal. Um, but Frankie is kind of like, yeah, that doesn't sound like any animal I've ever heard. So, um... All that to say, none of that is spoilers, but I guess I'm liking it. I definitely want to keep reading. Like, I find myself wanting to keep reading to see what's going to happen, but I don't know. We'll see. So for now, I'm going to go do some cleaning, probably, some stuff around the house, listen to an audiobook, and yeah, I'll check in when I've made some more progress. I'm already pretty much, like, almost halfway through, right? What did I say I had left? 228 of 408 so almost halfway yeah I'd say that's good for progress for now okay so I have an hour and 28 minutes left I'm going to pause there um I was doing some cleaning like I said and I listened to I'm glad my mom died uh, the memoir by Jeanette McCurdy, I got 21% through, and her mom sounds like a piece of work. Um, I can see why people liked this memoir. I am very intrigued, and I would like to continue, but it is lunchtime. I made myself a little snack plate there, um, so I'm gonna eat that. I'm probably gonna watch a little bit of YouTube, and then get back to, I don't know if I'm going to pick up my physical book again or continue with the audiobook. But yeah, I'm going to eat this lunch, watch some YouTube, and then get back to reading. Okay, so I am just under an hour left now, or I have just under an hour left now. I just, I was just listening to the memoir, and I'm now 32% through it. Um, okay, so here's the thing about Jeanette McCurdy. I'm, like, a little too old for the shows that she was on. Like, I was never into iCarly and stuff. 
Um, so I know like minimal amounts about her. Like I've seen an episode here or there with like a niece or nephew or like my friend's kids or whatever. But like I don't really know anything about her for the most part. So this memoir is just like I have no real baseline for it. But oh man, like this girl's life was horrible. Like her mom was horrible. Like narcissistic and like emotionally abusive and like just abusive in general, like promoting anorexia. I like it's horrendous. Like some people should just not have kids. And, like, I understand this woman has passed away, but I can understand. I can 100% understand. And I'm only, like I said, 32% of the way through. I can 100% understand why the title of this memoir is what it is because, oh, man. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I have an hour left and I got kind of sidetracked with YouTube, as one does. So I actually only have an hour and a half until my training session. Um, so I have an hour to read and an hour and a half until my training session. So basically I have to get reading. I have to read for an hour straight and then get right into my warm up, warm up for my training session. So I am going to stop this update here. Um, I've pretty much had enough <laughs> of that memoir for now. So I'm going to go back to reading one step too far for the next hour and then I will come in and do my little final check-in slash wrap-up clip and that'll be it for this vlog. So one hour left. Let's go. Okay so that's it. I hit my time. The timer just went off. I reached 200 page 202 in One Step Too Far, um, which means I read almost 100 pages of this today, so that's great. I'm happy with that progress, um, as well as I listened to 32% of I'm Glad My Mom Died. So not too bad for four hours and eight minutes of reading today. Um, yeah, I don't normally get that much reading done in a day unless I have like a really long commute so I can listen to like a couple hours of an audiobook like two two and a half hours of an audiobook if I hit a lot of traffic um, so usually I don't read for four hours in a day so it was kind of a fun experience um, and I like the like I said the amount of progress that I made uh, would I commit to a whole week of this probably not I do not know how this would be humanly possible on like a work day because <laughs> so it's funny because I kind of like when I watched other people do this and they were like oh my god I'm I'm just not gonna be able to fit all this in a day I was like well if you can play on your phone that long in a day you should be able to read that long in a day but that being said reading for four hours and eight minutes was so much harder than being on like just randomly scrolling on my phone for four hours and eight minutes um because the reading is more of like a conscious effort. You have to like sit down and like do the thing. Whereas scrolling on your phone, you know, you could just be walking and scrolling. You can't really be walking and reading. Um, not like going for a walk. You could go for a walk and listen to an audiobook. But like, you know, walking from place to place. If you're like walking from the living room to the kitchen, you might, you know, have your phone open and be looking at something. So like little things like that, I feel like add up with the screen time where they wouldn't really add up with reading because you're not going to just like pick up your book and read for the 10 feet from the kitchen to the living room or whatever. Um, so yeah, I don't know how this would work on a work day. I mean, I guess audiobooks in the car would count, but I mean, I also use my phone a little bit less on, no, that's a lie. Cause I think last Monday and Wednesday, I actually used my phone more than I did on the Tuesday, if I recall correctly. So yeah, I don't know. I don't think this would work on a work, on like a work week. I did enjoy it. I did enjoy 
the amount, like I do feel really good about the amount of progress that I made in my reading today. So never say never, I guess. Like I, I, I wouldn't completely rule out trying this again, either for another day or the week that I'm on vacation, maybe. So let me know what you think. If you watched this, if you like it, um, if you like this kind of content, <laughs> the, the week thing still seems a little intimidating, but I definitely enjoyed doing it for a day. I liked focusing on my reading because I haven't been doing as much reading as I would like. So yeah, but now I'm just rambling. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a good reading day or reading week. Um, definitely let me know if you've done this challenge or if you plan on doing this challenge. And if you have like a booktube and you've done it and made a video about it, uh, leave me a link. I would love to check it out because I have fun watching the videos that people made doing this. And yeah, I guess that's it for today and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.